Wednesday is here to stay whether you're ready for it or not. So let's make sure you know how to use it to help you save tons of time and energy in running your online shop. Hey there, I'm Janet LeBlanc from Paper and Spark. I'm a financial educator and I help artists and makers like you start and scale online shops so you can achieve your entrepreneurial dreams with ease. By the end of this video, you will understand five concrete ways that you can leverage AI in your e-commerce business to save you hours of work and maybe even make you more money. Make sure you stick around because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share an exclusive coupon code from a new Spark shop where you can download resources, templates, quick win workshops, and private mini podcasts all about optimizing your e-commerce shop. By now, you've likely heard at least a little something about AI and the arrival of ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI-powered tool developed by a company called OpenAI that can generate human-like responses to text-based prompts. It uses a large language model that has been trained on a vast amount of data to generate responses that can be relatively helpful for you and your business, depending on how you use them, and if you make sure to check them for accuracy. If you know how to use it, you can leverage ChatGPT for several different types of tasks in your business in order to save yourself some serious time and energy. Use that time instead to focus on revenue generating work, or even better, go take a nap, read a book, take a walk, whatever you want. If you need to get set up on ChatGPT, head over to openai.com and follow the prompts to get started. Either way, let's dive into five concrete ways you can use this tool right now in your business to save you some time. In all of these examples, please note that I am using the free version of ChatGPT. So the first thing you can do with this tool is anything related to your social media marketing, content ideas, writing captions, coming up with hashtags, anything to do with your social media stuff. In my opinion, this is the biggest time and energy saving use of ChatGPT assisting you with coming up with ideas for what to post on social for your marketing. You can ask ChatGPT for content ideas for your reels, your static Instagram posts, TikTok videos, Pinterest board categories, blog post topics, welcome sequence emails, tweets, Facebook posts, really the sky is the limit. Whatever platforms you're using, you can ask about. If you're struggling to think of content for whatever marketing platform or platform to use, ask ChatGPT for some ideas. The more information that you can give ChatGPT when you're asking it to come up with content ideas for you about your business and about your target audience, the better the response that you'll get. Here's an example of me asking ChatGPT for five general content themes that I could post about on social media. So I told ChatGPT that I make handmade jewelry and my audience is newer moms or people gifting for new moms and I asked for help coming up with five general themes of content that I could talk about on social. It gave me the ideas of showcasing my latest designs, celebrating motherhood since that's my target audience, educating them on different types of gemstones that I use in my jewelry, custom jewelry design, sharing photos of the custom pieces that are made for specific clients, and gift guides for my audience. So those are some pretty good ideas to start with. You can always keep asking questions and keep refining for more. Besides the content ideas themselves, I can even get ChatGPT to draft my captions or my scripts. So now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me 10 specific Instagram caption ideas for idea number three, gemstone education. I may even wanna clarify and tell ChatGPT what gemstones I want it to educate my audience about, but I'm just gonna go general here and get some ideas. I asked ChatGPT to make my tone for the captions brief, informal, and friendly, but specific. I don't like when they give you really general stuff. So it looks like they're writing you some great, like one sentence captions for Instagram. They even have emojis and some hashtags here for me to use. But these are 10 captions to get me started which is really helpful if you get writer's block anytime you open up your social media marketing platforms. I suggest tweaking these captions before just copying and pasting them into your social scheduler of choice or right into whatever social platform you're using. Bonus points if you use something like Tailwind for your Instagram and Pinterest scheduling. They even offer a uh, beta feature right now for ghostwriting, which uses AI directly in to draft these captions for you based on a few inputs. 
Another thing that you can do is ask ChatGPT for hashtag suggestions based on your brand and your target audience. That's another thing that I really dread doing is hashtag research. So you can ask ChatGPT for a bucket of hashtags based on your different content themes. You could get specific and say, I want 30 to 50 hashtags for each of these themes or trending hashtags, you can ask anything about that. The second way you can use ChatGPT to save you some serious time and energy is blog and email copy. So don't stop with just your social marketing ideas for content and captions. Go further than that and use ChatGPT to help you come up with blog content ideas, in scripts for those blogs, along with copy content for your email marketing. If starting a blog has been on your to-do list, but you get overwhelmed with the idea of what to write about or how to write it, get over your writer's block by asking ChatGPT to come up with an initial blog post draft or maybe even just an outline if you prefer. You can even pop a draft that you write back into ChatGPT and ask it to check for any grammatical errors or make it easier to read. The same idea works just as well for your email copy. If you're not sure what to email your list about this week or going forward and you need help getting the ball rolling, just ask ChatGPT. And staying in this conversation of me as the wire wrapped jewelry maker, it will remember what I've told it in the past. So it'll remember what my business is about, who my target audience is, so I can just keep asking it questions and it will remember what we've chatted about in this existing thread. So now I've asked it for 10 ideas for what to email my subscribers about. I, I want to send more emails specifically to people who haven't purchased from me yet. I asked for a mix of emails that are educational, styling inspiration with my jewelry, and then direct calls to action to buy. So again, it's given me 10 content ideas for what I can email my list about. I could also use these for blog posts. I could also use these for social posts. The possibilities are really endless. Bonus tip two, if you want to ask ChatGPT for some intriguing email subject lines to help increase your open rates for any of these emails that you decide to write. Pause for a minute. What is your least favorite copywriting task inside your business? Have you tried using ChatGPT to help you with it? Let me know in the comments. The third way that you can use this tool to help you save time and energy in your business is for coming up with new product ideas and names. Depending on what you sell, ChatGPT can be great for brainstorming new product ideas. You can tell it about your current ideal customer avatar and what you currently sell and ask it for ideas of what you could add to your product line. And bonus points if you do this to help you flesh out your product suite for your repeat customers, which I talked about in this video here. A fourth smart way to use this tool is to draft policies, frequently asked questions, and customer support copy. So if you haven't gotten the gist yet, basically copywriting can be a drag, at least in my opinion. It can be tedious, and if you're like me, your brain has got to be in just the right space to eke out anything that is quality writing. So you can use ChatGPT to help you write any of those more boring or tedious blurbs of copy that you've been needing to sprinkle around your site. That can include things like your policies, answers to FAQs, and even ideas for what FAQs you should start with if you don't know, automated out of office responses, canned snippets or templates for customer combos, your shipping policy, your return and our exchange policy, and more. If you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure you subscribe to my channel for future updates. I'll be sharing more ways you can optimize your shop using AI tools soon. My fifth and final idea for how to utilize this tool to save time and energy in your shop is to draft product descriptions and suggest keywords for your product listings. So one of the most fun ways to use ChatGPT is to draft your product listings or descriptions. I think this is another tedious bit of copywriting for a lot of us especially if you have a lot of products to list. And I think that ChatGPT particularly excels with this. You can let it start the process, make a bullet point list for you, or just draft an actual script that you can copy, tweak, and paste. And I also like to use ChatGPT to suggest popular keywords or SEO or tags for my products. These five ideas are really just the tip of the iceberg with how you could use 
AI and chat GPT to save you time and energy in running your business. If you have any other ideas of how you could use this, I'd love to hear them in the comments. If you want to dive deeper into more specific ideas and tricks for using chat GPT, including how to make sure you're asking the best questions and best practices for how you prompt your questions, make sure you check out my mini private podcast on this topic available in the new Spark Shop. You can use code YouTube to save $5 on the mini podcast here. Using ChatGPT to draft your business and marketing copy is one great example of how to work smarter, not harder in your shop. If you're interested in learning other ways to leverage your time and work to make more profit, make sure you check out my video, Four Easy Hacks to Increase Your Shop Sales That Don't Require More Traffic, next.